Here we're going to compare values in Excel, and we'll start off nice and simple and very quickly move on to case-sensitive comparisons and arrays. So there should be a little bit for almost everyone here. And make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon, and like the video. The more of you that do that, the more videos I can make. And check the description for a link to download this file so that you can follow along. Now let me clear this out and let's get started. And for the first section, let's first go over the values that I've got. These are basic numbers. This is text. Notice the capitalization here, capital R, lowercase r, both capital here. And these are actual dates. So they look like dates and they are seen as dates by Excel. Now the first thing we want to do is to make a basic comparison. Sometimes people think that you have to use an if statement or an if function to make a comparison, but you do not. The if actually doesn't even make a comparison. The logical test argument is where we make the comparison. The comparison doesn't really have anything to do with if. If I do an equal sign so that we're making a formula, then I select this and I compare it to the other cell. So if I want to see if 1 equals 5, I go A4 equals B4, enter, and we get false. If I copy it down, we get true because these are equal. So this is the comparison. You have one value, a comparison operator, and another value. And we can use equal, greater than, greater than or equal to, a less than, a less than or equal to, or less than and greater than back to back for not equal to. So if I check if 3 is not equal to 3, it will return false. And that's the premise for all of the comparisons in Excel. A value and a comparison operator and another value. Now let's go ahead and copy this down. And copy it down all the way. The very first thing that you are going to notice is that capital R red equals lowercase r red. So by default, the comparisons are not case sensitive. And also, you will notice that we can compare dates. Now, if you don't know much about dates, I highly recommend you watch one of my tutorials on dates. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. But what I'm going to show you really quickly is just what a date actually is. So if we convert it to a general, you will notice it is a number. And sometimes when you're messing around with dates, or not messing around, but Excel is being finicky, you will see numbers like this and not know what's going on. Those are just the date serial numbers. And now you can see it's very easy to compare these values. And times are just decimals at the end of this number. We're not going to compare times here, but you can compare them the same way that we are comparing dates. Now let me back that up and let's go for the next step. Most people put this within an if statement, so let us do that. We grab this, which is the logical argument for the if statement or the if function. I call it an if statement because in programming, that's what it's called. So the if. Now for our logical test, we input the comparison. And the beauty of the if is we don't just have to output true or false. If it's true, we can output whatever we want or do whatever we want, pretty much. And the same for false. Here, let's just output the text equal and not equal. And copy it down. So there we have the basics. And now let's move on to a case-sensitive check. So we want to make sure that this is not considered the same as this. And that brings us to the exact function. It's a very simple little guy. Equals exact. And you click one cell, comma, the other cell. So it will automatically add, essentially, the equal sign comparison operator between these two and perform a case-sensitive check. And we can copy it down. And notice that here, Lower red and upper red are false. Only the uppers are true. And if I made this a lowercase r, that would then be true. So exact is a very simple little function, but it can be quite helpful. And if we throw that guy inside of an if, we copy that, go over here, equals if, paste it in, comma, and let's go once again, just equal, and how about not equal? Close it up. 
and there we go. So you have a basic comparison and case sensitive. Now it is time to move on to arrays. So we're going to enter one formula here to perform a check for both of these ranges all at the same time. And it works like this equals uh, this range equal to uh, this range. And when I hit enter in Excel 365, it spills it down for me. So I still only have a one formula, but we get the results for the entire list. Now in older versions of Excel, you are going to have to do control shift enter to input something like this. So any array actually, and it's not going to spill it down. So basically a simple comparison like this isn't going to be terrifically useful in older versions of Excel but it will form the basis for many more complex formulas that you can make. So to input that guy in Array, Control, Shift, Enter. If you're in newer versions of Excel, just enter, and that works just fine. And the beautiful thing is we can copy it, go over here, input an if statement, and then put that for the logical test, and then let's go once again, equal and not equal, and that logical test will then expand the if statement all the way down and spill it so we have a result for all of them. It's really kind of a nice thing. And if you want to freeze these values now that you've done that, you can simply select all of them and hit Control C and then Alt ESV Enter. So Alt ESV and Enter. Or Control C to copy and then a right click and paste special. You can do values right here, or there we go, paste special and values right here. But the keyboard shortcut, much nicer. Control C, Alt ESV, Enter. And now that we have a basic array down, let's go for multiple checks. And we'll start off using the AND and the OR functions, and then move to doing the same thing with arrays. And that's where it begins to get a little bit tricky. So here, let's make a simple comparison. We only have a couple numbers, so 1, 5, 3, and 3. For the AND checks, let's make sure that 1 does equal 5. OK, so not these numbers hard-coded, but this value here, value 1, equals a value 2 and this value here equals this value. So both must equal each other. So we go equals and, and we make our first logical comparison, our first test of this guy. Whatever comparison operator you want, then equals for this one, an equals comparison operator, and value two. And that is the first check, then a comma, and the second check of this guy, whatever comparison operator you want, and uh, this guy. And you could keep going and add many, many checks. And now this will only return true if both of these evaluate to true. And they do not, so we get false. With the or, it is similar, except for here with all of our tests, only one of them has to evaluate to true in order for this guy to return true. So for our first test, does one equal five? That's going to return false. Then a comma, our second one, does three equal three? Well, yes, it does. So we are going to get true. And to put these guys inside of an if statement, we grab the and, we go over here, we go equals if, and we paste in the test for a logical test. And what do we want to output? How about both equal? And how about at least one? not equal. You would probably use something a bit more helpful than that. But now we know that at least one is not equal. If I made this a one, then both would be equal. And for the or, we have the same thing. So we grab our test, we go equals if, paste it in. And if it's true, at least one is equal and neither are equal. Okay. But now let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's have multiple checks using arrays. And this is a very important concept to understand, especially if you're going to be using the new filter function. 
or really crazy complicated functions from older versions of Excel. And I have many tutorials on those as well. Just look up return multiple results or regex and you'll get some interesting tutorials that I've made. So for arrays, let's say do all of these equal all of these. So we've done this one before, right? When I hit enter, we get false and true because that's not equal, uh, that's equal. But now let us make another check. Now this must be the same height as what we just did. So here we have two cells. Now we need two more cells. So how do we do that? We can go equals this and make a comparison. Does it equal one? And we get true false. If we do an and comparison, uh, this is going to evaluate to false and uh, this will also evaluate to false. If we do an or comparison, both of these will evaluate to true because there is in each comparison that we will soon make, there is a true for each row, at least one true. But how do we combine these? So let's go with an and check first. Well, let us grab this, copy it, and go over here. Now this brings up a very interesting thing, and I have a tutorial on this. It's the power of true and false. These are represented with numbers, so zero and one. So we can multiply and add them. And for the and check, you multiply. And when we multiply, the false and true will become numbers, and both rows will return false, which is the number zero. So when I hit enter, we get zero, zero. Now, how do we do the same thing for the or check? Let me grab this, copy it. So we're going to start with the same base, but we're going to go over here, paste it in. So we check, does this equal this? And it will compare the rows against one another. But this time we want to, let me close that up first or hit enter first. We want to grab this check, copy it, and go over here to the end and add it. And don't forget the brackets. And when we add it, since each row will have at least one true in it, that means each row will have at least one one. Trues are represented with a one. We will then have one plus zero, which equals one. Is that confusing? A little bit, yes. So let me hit enter and let's see what we get. One, one. True, true. Zero, zero, false, false. Now, if this is over your head, please watch my true false tutorial. These guys, they are sneaky simple, right? But they allow you to make incredibly powerful formulas, I promise you. And they're kind of fun <laughs> if you like working with this kind of stuff. And for the if statements, let's go ahead and just copy this so I don't have to type everything out and paste that guy in there. But we shall use this as our a logical test, just like all of the other examples. And there we go. And for the last one, copy that guy, bring him over here, and paste it in. You can see how the more complex things get, the nicer it is to build your formulas in pieces and verify that everything is good before you combine it all in one. Now there are about a million other things I could show you, but I want to keep this tutorial relatively short. I urge you to search for the other tutorials that I have made and check the links in the description of this video for some that I will link to because there's just so much more that you can do. But here, now you've seen five ways to compare values in Excel. And if you made it this far, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon, and I'll see you next time.